Today we're going to see how to make the static progressive wrist extension and flexion splint. The two components needed for the splint are a posterior elbow splint and an MCP joint blocking splint. Those pieces will be connected dynamically to increase wrist range of motion. Fishing line will be used to create the dynamic component. We will need to create two wing pieces through which the wire will pass. In order to affix the wing pieces securely, it's helpful to score both the splint and the wing piece prior to application. When affixing the wing piece, press firmly and smush the edges of the material into the base of the splint. Hold the piece using your index finger to allow to dry in a horizontal position. For the strap component, take a piece of fishing wire, double it a Velcro as shown. Before attaching the final piece of Velcro, you will need to guide the fishing wire through the wing, then attach the Velcro piece to complete the dynamic component of the splint. Here you can see the completed dynamic strap. A strip of sticky back loop at the top and the bottom of the splint allow you to statically and progressively increase wrist flexion and extension while using the splint. In this part of the video, the patient is statically and progressively stretching her wrist into flexion. Next, we will see how to use the same splint to gain extension. Moving to the back end of the splint and pulling down on the back strap, we can work on wrist extension in the simply worked on flexion. Typical wearing instructions would be for five to 10 minutes, three to five times a day.